Hello everybody, it is I, the Bomangani, and we're continuing our journey into the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I figured I'd take you into a, a little dungeon, it, you know, just by myself here. Um, first I wanted to show you what, what I'm doing with my character. Uh, these are the different skills. This is set up for my bow, and I'm, I got Poison Arrow, which is kind of self-explanatory, you shoot a Poison Arrow. Shadowy Disguise lets me go invisible for just a little bit and get away. Cripple uh, affects the enemy's movement, so that helps me get away because you want to stay away whenever you're doing the bow shots. And Soul Trap is just a general one I got on both my builds. Uh, it lets you get uh, Soul Gems, and this is another way to cripple the enemy. Prolonged Suffering locks them down. Well, if they're normal size enemies big guys they laugh at you and they just keep running at you but this locks them down and does some damage to them and then the ultimate is soul tether and what this is is once they get up on me and i'm using my bow i hit them with this and then this uh, gives me some health and then i'll switch into my other build which is my close combat build and this is my close combat build consuming let's see Veiled Strike, which is just a, an intense close combat strike. Uh, Shadowy Disguise again. Uh, this is a protection. It puts a bunch of swirly blades around me, does damage. So whenever I'm surrounded, I'm, I'm hitting them even though I don't have to hit them. Soul Trap again. Uh, teleport Strike, which is just another intensive strike. Uh, this actually knocks them down and uh, uh, immobilizes them for a bit. And then consuming darkness, which that's my super or ultimate <laughs> in this, and uh, what that gives a area of a protection and uh, restricted movement for them. So that's my Calfax build, and let's go in here. We're going into the Zulf. Uh, Zif it, it's a Dwemer ruin. It. Uh, it's just a little ways from Windhelm. If you've played Skyrim, you've probably been in these ruins already. Uh, and of course this is however many hundreds of years prior to Skyrim. So, um, it, it's kind of neat, you know, it's areas that you know, a looks a little familiar. So, this guy's just standing outside here, and so let's, let's see what he wants. Oh, you know us. Aww. Things didn't go so well for us after those ruins. That's so too bad. North now. Kirath still talks about those light crystals, though. My I bet she does. I traveled for Morrowind in search of forgotten lore and ancient relics. You know, I really want to go to Morrowind. The Stula laughed at us, and the Mage's Guild ignores us. But we're going to find something they can't ignore. Well, All right. My sister went into the ruins and hasn't returned yet. She can take care of herself, but I'm starting to get worried. Kirith keeps a well, good thing I wandered along then. Hard on her books. <laughs> always loses pages. Follow the pages and they'll lead you right to her. Okay, so we got a Hansel and Gretel thing going here, huh? Follow the pages. All right, let's head on in here to Zulf. Miz, 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 I don't know how to say that. It's some German word, ruins. So let's head on down. Wow, that's ominous. And the first page is right here. She didn't get very far. She started shucking pages. Kind of like that uh, old witch on Bugs Bunny whenever she'd take off all those bobby pins would fly out of her hair. So she's just running along. So these pages, um, they're just, I guess, filler a little bit. Gives you some glimpse in the the character, uh, they really don't have any effect on the dungeon or haven't, don't really tell you anything about what's going on. Uh, just gives you story background. And these, these dwarven spears can be tough, but they're not bad. And as you can see, I, I've figured out the combat moves a little bit better than my first video whenever I st started replaying this. Uh, doing a lot better with that, so. Let's pick another fight. Get in over here. And there's my ultimate that I was talking about. Once they get up on me, I hit that, and then those uh, 
Red beams are giving me health while I'm running around whacking things and getting that uh, swirly blade of protection going. And here's the next page. I figured I'd let you see them and read them if you want. That's uh, that's one of the things with Elder Scrolls. There's a lot of books, a lot of things to read in the game that really don't have much to add for the gameplay part of the side. I guess you're if you're really into the lore it's kind of cool but I think most players probably just like grab this and then just keep going they probably don't even look at it and um, I, that's kind of sad <laughs> as a game designer I'm sure that people put a lot of work and effort into writing this out what we're going to say what we're going to do and uh, uh, people just bypass it lockpicks I don't know why there are so many lockpicks in Dwarven Ruins it, I just if you're out of lockpicks, just go find a Dwarven Ruin and r wander around in there for 10 minutes and then you'll have plenty of them. Uh, it's really, really not an issue. It's kind of, kind of silly. So these guys are ganging up on me. They shot out of this uh, little hole over here. And that is not good. They're hurting. Went invisible a little bit, got out of there. All right, whew, that was rough. Let's go pick another fight here. I'm, I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty tough after that. All that come running out at me. Yeah, they did it again. And this is my other ultimate, the uh, one with the circle that that restricts their movement and helps me out a little bit. Wow, there's a lot of them. Oh, go down, go down, go down. Oh, man. All right. Here's another page. And even even in this dungeon, we didn't necessarily have to follow these pages. Uh, just me, I, like I said, I like uh, at least giving a little bit of time to the people who worked hard to create this game and at least skim through and see what this says. Evidently, she's got some magical device that her brother made that makes her invisible, so I'm sure that won't lead to any problems. Alright, I'm going to try to do some sneaking here. Ah, got him. Alright. Stuff to sell. That's a good deal. Here's the another page. And I always check the bookshelves. Sometimes there's uh, books that will give you uh, points. Or increase your uh, skills and stuff so that's important so let's see you didn't have to uh, find a page you could have just ran over this door and got through it and I'm I'm messing around all, so oh great they see me so that's why I get for messing around I should have just went through the door but I've been handling these guys okay so I'm feeling feeling pretty br and what is that that's a blue dome and now they're glowing blue. What is happening right now? What? How did that? Oh no! Well, there we go. Let's go back to the way shrine, and it's back at the very beginning of the dungeon. Okay, so I get to fight through all that stuff again, but at least I don't have to follow the uh, trail of the pages since I've already got them. So here we go, I'm trying to get through here, pick a fight, and right here, I forgot that the green circle, yeah, and uh, should have been in the circle, so then this wouldn't have happened. So 
So back to the beginning again. They give you these little hits, which usually means um, hit them harder or run away. I don't know. They can basically boil it down to that. So let's do this all again. So to the door that uh, we started at, and let's get through here. And there's another page straight in front of me. And now she's writing pages about the pages falling out. That's just a strange game mechanic, I guess. I don't know. I find it find it out. There's that blue dome again. Oh, I hate this blue dome. What's going on with that? I gotta get these things killed quicker or something. Because once they get that blue dome going and that uh, stuff on their head there, they're, oh my gosh. Okay, so this time I'm gonna hit the, uh, hit the soul gem so I spawn right here. And uh, whenever you do that, you, you're kind of a ghost for a little bit so you can run around and get past stuff and then suddenly you show up and they all see you so okay let's do this oh the blue dome again all right got him now we got now we got a fight all right All right, there, good job. Get some little treasure, get plenty of dwarven gears. I don't know how I'm packing dwarven gears, but we don't think about that. It's just magic. There's a big hole in there. And uh, here's another page. And it looks like her invisibility device that her brother made her is fritzing out. This looks safe, doesn't it? So I, I'm just going to go across this really slowly because this, what you want is a wood and rope bridge uh, where there's a bunch of mechanical stuff. I'm sure these little robots aren't uh, very light on their feet. Well, they are spiders. Maybe they don't care. All right, here we go. There's a the big boy. He's coming right at me. Sure not doing much damage with this bow. That, that is for sure. Just hit my super and in we go. Alright, hopefully get some damage done on him. Okay, come on. I'll kite him along here so I can get some arrows into him. Oh, ooh, I did something to hurt him bad. What? Oh, no, no! Oh, where? Oh, I hate that. You pull them back and they get to a certain point and they're like, no, I get to run home and go back to full health. Okay, let's, let's get some help going here. And that's one thing that's uh, very different about Elder Scrolls Online than uh, Skyrim or Oblivion or Morrowind, any of those. Uh, in those games, you can just choke down potions left and right. In this one, the potions have a timer. So I did that one sip of a critical weapon aid that you know helps me get critical weapon damage. And now I'm stuck 
I can't do any health potions, I can't do anything like that until that timer runs out on the effectiveness of the other potion. And uh, I, I kind of, I, I can understand it from a game point. Yeah, I got you, dog. I can understand it from a game point, but at the same time, when all your other games you've been able to spam potions to stay alive and stuff, it, it's kind of, kind of like, ugh. Why, why slow me down? You're hurting my groove here, brother. So we got this. Get these guys down here. Uh oh, this is looking bad. This is not looking. Run, leave me alone. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm stuck back here. Go away. No. Oh, they got me. So. Oh, no. I hit the. Xbox X instead of the PlayStation X. Oh, I'm all the way back at the beginning again. So let's just zip through time here. Now this is a Dwarven Rune or Dwarven Centurion again, and uh, this time I got some help. This is just some random guy doing the same dungeon as me. So uh, <laughs> that seemed to help out a lot. And uh, that's kind of fun. You can just randomly run into people. Sometimes uh, they don't help the experience. But this guy, we kind of joined together for just a, a small bit of time here and took his stuff out. And, and he went on his merry and I went on my merry and everything was okay. Here's another one of these pages. So she's running into problems. So I guess it's supposed to make you feel more hurried to find her or something. And she's trying to figure out how to get out of here. Don't worry. I'll come get you, honey. There's another one. That at this point, you know, I kinda of figured out you don't don't uh even need this. But I'm kind of a completionist, so I gotta find them all. And finally, here she is. Hi there. It's great to see someone who isn't made of metal and trying to chop me to bits. Are you just exploring? I hate to tell you, but we were here first. But good job getting this far without one of Rain. Raynor sent you. Well, that was nice of him, since it's his fault I'm stuck down here. His stupid invisibility device stopped working, and now the constructs won't stop chasing me. Our research points to a treasure trove of lore buried in these ruins. I even found one of the lore vaults. It had a Dwemer memory device and everything. But the area is buried in snow and swarming with constructs. That's why I'm coming with you, silly. I won't let anything happen to you, promise. Besides, I have the shovel. Anyway, you keep the constructs away from me and I'll dig for the key. How's that sound? Great, let's go. I'll stick close if you don't mind. You look like you can handle that weapon. Well, well. you know, if I had a choice in this situation, if I would uh, I'll meet you back. give you some different dialogue options and what, what is required to move past here. So off we go into the ice tunnels. So we gotta help her find a key. Ooh, another big boy. I don't have my helper no more. I don't know what happened to him. He took off running. And, uh, I think he was uh, less reliant on po finding the pages than I was, so he just zipped through here. Oh man, he hits hard. There we go. Now we'll be all right. Go 
down already. There we go. And more cogs that I can sell. Wait, over there. What? Where? What? What are you talking about? Where? Where? You, over where? Oh, there. Our yes. Oh, you do have a shovel. Before they were stopped. To attack a place of healing, it makes no sense. No, none whatsoever. I don't know. We made it. Now all we have to do is find the key. Remember, damn. Just broken glass shards. They're everywhere in here. Well, la ti da. Oh, it's in that area somewhere. All right. Search and destroy. Just go down. Seems like that last sliver is like 10,000 points or something. I don't know what the deal is. So, um, with provisioning, you can make things like that. That gives me extra health recovery, which I should have drank at the beginning of the dungeon. Let's get this set up here just in case. You can see I used up all my... Uh, sip uh, weapon criticals there that's a, a potion that uh, Calfax actually made through the skills with the alchemy and that that's uh, one of the fun things in Elder Scrolls too because you can do all these craftings alchemy potion enchantment um, Weaponsmith, the bow that he's using, uh, the, this character created, uh, enhanced it, made the enchantment to uh, uh, give it fire and all that. So that, it's kind of a, a fun thing. You're not reliant on uh, weapon drops to kind of design what you want to do with your character. You can make it yourself just as long as you get the skills going. So let's go find this key in the icy tunnels. And we're still in there somewhere. Wait, over there. What? Could it be? Let's get the device to work. Yes. That would be good. Oh, it's a blue dome again. No, no, no. Blue dome bad. Blue dome bad. I don't want no blue dome. You got a blue dome. Your dome is blue and I'm going to shoot you. Oh, well, that is the last little nastiness right there. Yay! All right. It's a purple thing. Pink purple whatever they are but you died with a book good thing you held on to this instead of trying to get out of here now I gotta do something here a one a two a three what? The Tootsie Roll work thing didn't work? Oh. It was in four. I hoped I'd find what? You two down here. I repaired the lift. What oh, I repaired the lift and I came right down and I didn't have to die four times. What a jerk. 
A memory device? You found one that works? It's intact. We yeah, we can find things whenever we go exploring and don't take the lift that we suddenly fixed for no reason whatsoever. Oh, you two, just keep yakking. I, I'll go find something here. Ooh, look, more lockpicks. But think about what we can do with those maps. Access to every ruin. Maps? I, yeah, maps. I like maps. Whoa, you stay there, big boy. Actually, you could come in and stomp this brother in the head. He's annoying. Yeah, think how famous you'd be if you'd run over and fight that centurion. But we've worked so hard to get them to listen to us. This is our chance, sister. I'm not sure. But our friend here has found an orb we can use. Hey, yeah, I found what one. What do you think we should do? Oh, you're going to make me choose your death. What do you think? We've only got the one orb you found. If I knew the location of every Dwemer ruin, I could explore places no one has seen since the Dwemer were actually alive and kicking. That would be amazing. Anyone can be a scholar, but I could visit places no one alive has ever seen. What do you think? We've only got... What do you think? We've been working to get recognized for years. Up until now, our discoveries have been curiosities, not important findings. Information on how the Dwemer use soul gems in their constructs, though? No one could ignore that kind of finding. Yeah, I'm going with the maps because um, I would like to go explore my of them. I do. I know Raynor wants to get invited. Plus, that whole lift thing really ticked me off. Love exploring old ruins. With this, we would be the foremost. Oh look! Suddenly, I fixed it, and now I'm here. You gave the orb to my. You really think yeah. so? Yeah, yeah, I gave the orb to your sister, Mister Fix It. Stuffy the mages are. How they'd hamper our creativity. It's Maybe if I was in the Mage's Guild, I'd feel different. Deal. But I'm not in the Mage's Guild. Well, I would be in the Thief's Guild if they had one. That would be cool. Alrighty. So this is all done. That was... Mzooft. Mzooft. I think there's actually more to this dungeon than what's right here. Because there's that area that I just scanned off there to the right. But uh, I'm ready to get out of here. I've had enough dwarves. For a day, so let's uh go figure out what's next for me here. Put all my stuff. All right, back outside we go. So there now it's white, all cleared out. Another marker off the map. And what are we gonna do? In the Valley of Blades. The Valley of Blades. Hub, high in the mountains of Hammerfell, a place I thought lost to the ravages of time. Sisahan entrusted the key to Tankator. To one of his mentors there. It must be retrieved. Come quickly. Of course. Manny Marco is undoubtedly conducting his own search for the Amulet of Kings. We oh. must not allow him to get there first. Alright, because Manny Marco's bad. Alright, off we go. See you later.